हाय हाय हेलो या हाय माय नेम इज जगदीश एंड आई विल टेक योर इंटरव्यू एंड सो कैन यू क्विकली इंट्रोड्यूस यू सेल्फ या या दैट वाज नाइस नाउ क्विकली टेल मी व्हाट इज होस्टिंग इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट होस्टिंग बेसिकली मींस मूविंग ऑल द डिक्लेरेशन टू द टॉप ऑफ द कोड लाइक देयर डिक्लेरेशन आर लाइक देर आर वेरिएबल्स and functions classes in a code so they are generally moved to the top of the code and variables are initialized with a value of undefined and the functions and classes are moved to the top with their code so uh, we can use the classes and the function before the declaration and uh, we can uh, we can also call the variables before their declaration and this process basically uh, the process of moving these declaration to the top of the code is known as hoisting uh, so you said that all the variables are moved to the top of the code are all the variables moved or only the variables are declared with the where are moved to the top of the code sir in hoisting all the variables including let where and const all three are hoisted to the top of the code but the where is initialized with the value undefined so we can access is it the before its declaration and it will uh, print undefined but in case of let and const these are doesn't uh, assigned with any of the values so no values assigned to them and they are uh, sent to the temporal dead zone and uh, we cannot access them till they they are declared or in, uh, initialized with any value uh yeah okay so uh, now tell me what is the difference between a variable declared with the let keyword and a variable declared with the where keyword so generally a variable declared with the where keyword have a global scope and with let keyword it have a block scope suppose uh, for example we uh, take a if statement and inside that if statement we uh, take two variables where a equals to 10 and uh, let b equals to 20 so we have taken but one variable with where and another with let and if we try to access this variable out of the if block uh, suppose yeah and we try to access them and we try to console log uh, a and b so we will see that we are able to uh, access the variable a because it's defined with the keyword where and we are not able to access the variable b this happens because where have a global scope whereas uh, let have a block scope so we can only access b inside its if block if we try to access it from the outside it will uh, throw an error okay okay uh, now tell me what is the difference between uh, set timeout and set interval function both the set timeout and set time interval functions are asynchronous function in javascript uh, the set timeout function is used to uh, delay a code execution for some time suppose uh, we want to execute a code after some time after 2 seconds after the document is being loaded so we use the set timeout function the set timeout function generally take uh, two parameters the first parameter is the code which need to be executed and the second parameter is the time after which uh, it need to be executed and the time is generally given in form of milliseconds so, uh, if we want to delay the execution for 2 seconds then we generally give the count as 2000 and uh, if we talk about the set time interval function then it could be understood as a ever going loop and it is generally used for continuously executing uh, some code so set time interval also take uh, two parameter the first is the code which need to be executed and the second parameter is the time interval after the time interval it need it need to be executed so uh, set time interval will continuously execute the code after some time suppose uh, we want to execute a code after 2 seconds continuously so we will use set time interval uh, yes that's all yeah okay 
as you said that a uh, certain interval function is a kind of a loop so can you tell me what kind of loop it is is it finite or infinite uh, the set interval function is generally a infinite loop it won't stop its execution automatically until we stop it so uh, when we declare the set interval function it return a number which is the id of that function so we can use set clear interval and inside that interval we can pass the id to stop the execution of the set interval function that's all uh yeah okay you might be uh, known about the term es6 uh, can you tell me what were the new features uh, introduced in es6 yes sir there are uh, many features which were introduced in es6 uh, the first feature was uh, let and cons keyword so uh, before in es5 we generally used uh, the where keyword to declare a variable but in es6 the let and cons were introduced so uh, now we can use let and cons and uh, apart from this uh, in es6 the uh, some new array method were introduced and uh, the for of loop was also introduced in es6 and uh, the arrow functions the arrow function were also introduced in es6 and uh, apart from this uh, the rest operator was also introduced and the classes the promises and some closures were introduced uh, actually sir uh, this much i know only yeah uh, that's okay as you said that uh, in es6 rest and uh, rest operator was introduced uh, so can you tell me what is the difference between the rest and spread operator uh sir uh, i guess uh, the similarity between these two is that uh, these two are displayed with three dots and uh, the difference is basically that uh, the spread and the rest operator are inverse of each other uh, the spread operator is basically as the name suggests uh, it is used to spread the elements of uh, any iterable such as spreading the elements of an array and uh, the rest operator is uh, inverse of spread it is basically used to uh, combine or compress all the elements into single variable so uh, we use the rest operator as an uh, parameter when we uh, don't know how many values are going to come then we can use the spread operator so that all that can, could be uh, sorry we can use the rest operator so uh, all that could be uh, compressed into a single variable and uh, used inside a function yeah uh, okay so uh, are you aware about the term as uh, shallow copy and deep copy so uh, can you quickly tell me yes sir. shallow copy basically means copying the reference part of an uh, object and not copying the values and deep copy generally means uh, copying the value part and of, of an object and creating a new object for example uh, suppose i have an array arr1 and uh, it has some values like 1 2 3 4 as an array have and i have an variable array2 so i uh, write array2 equals to array1 that means i am copying the reference of array1 into array2 so uh, here a shallow copy is being made if i try to manipulate the array2 then i will see that the changes are also reflected onto the array1 because there is a shallow copy made instead of uh, in case of a deep copy a new a new copy is created of that array uh, and uh, if i made change to the new copy then the uh, previous copy won't face any change so uh, this was the difference between deep copy and shallow copy